Hello, this is the Distracted Lord, and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, and I am going to be doing some more random racing. We're going from D class to B class for Derwent Water Trail, Valley View Sprint, and the Greendale Aerodrome Drag Strip. And I have a Cadillac Eldorado something convertible. Don't know what the word in the middle is, and I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not going to. But let's get this thing to be glass. Well, I have gone a little bit mad with this. So, it has 1500 horsepower. That's as much as my most horsepower X class car. It's like in the top 10 most powerful cars I own. The thing is, it weighs an awful lot. So, that's that's not that useful, all that power. Also, we're on dirt, which is really not going to help. Because this, this thing is on standard tyres. We are going to play Let's Spin the Wheels for, like, always. Just driving over here, I got a taste of the amount of lack of grip this thing has. Which is a lot. I'm probably never going to be able to use all the throttle because I use a tiny bit and we just fly out. I have max width tyres and all the downforce at the back to try and give this thing some traction so we can use the power. There isn't much traction and that's a wall and I have slightly bumped into a wall and I've bumped into another car. I would like to go round the water, please. I did not want to go through it. I am really low. I'm also on race suspension. The bumps are uncomfortable. I'm just hoping there's a bit of tarmac on this track. Can't really remember it. Um, slight clip the fence is fine. At least I haven't missed a checkpoint. I say that now, I'm gonna miss a checkpoint. No! They're all coming out the inside of me. Because I don't turn. I put my foot down. We accelerated a bit, and then I immediately had to brake because there was a corner. And corners require braking. Or just drifting. That was much sideways. Am I last? I'm last. I'm not used to there only being 12 cars. I'm used to playing like breakfast. I wish you had 24 cars most of the time. Get out the way chickens! I can't stop. No like, seriously. <laughs> I literally cannot stop. If I were to try and stop, it would take a little while. But on a straight, you see, we can go quite fast. And, and then I was trying to turn there. It wasn't working. And rock. Don't care about the rock. The rock does not affect me. Uh, let's, let's try and keep this thing pointing the right way. It's not that easy. <gasps> Tarmac! Let's see, can I regain some time? Try and avoid spinning the wheels. And then we can just put the foot down. And we can go, and then we have to break because there's a corner. And then we break because there's another corner. Yeah, we've got a drag strip coming up. Hopefully, it'll like that better. That is, if it can actually put any of its power down. Because currently, it's having some issues with that. Just understeer into a wall. some sliding. Yeah, we're really not doing too well. Sure, we're extremely fast in a straight line, but there aren't enough straight lines for this thing to really excel. If, if it had 
been less dirt. You might have done better, but that was a dirt track, so 12th place is is kind of to be expected. So now I am at the Valley View Sprint. It's a Lego Valley one, and hopefully there's some more straights. It is all tarmac. The launch we get is just horrific. Because because we just can't put the power down. And the corner. Let's try and avoid sliding, please. Everyone comes past on the corner. And then we go to a straight. And then we go. go. This is why I love power cars. Power cars. As much as I like handling cars and handling cars are great. Having a power car every now and then, or every day, because I always seem to like building power cars. Oh, oh. For once, I've actually properly got a power car, and I have really thrown it at the corner there. Perhaps let's not do that. I think I might have gone a little too mad. Because this thing really does not drive well. really badly. But we have so much... Oh, everyone stop. What's going on, guys? Why can you not drive? Oh, went on the dirt a bit, and I've lost control of the car. Now everyone's coming back past. Hairpin. Hairpins are bad. Hairpins are... Me going sideways. My game is slightly lagging, which doesn't help when you're trying to control 1,500 horsepower. The AI are really not coping with this. No, I'm afraid you're not coming past me. I say that, but he has got past me. Say hello to the fence for me. It doesn't even matter whether I'm trying to put the power down, the back just goes and slides out anyway. I think you might have needed a little more handling. Just because no handling doesn't really get you around the corners. Any places I can make up on a straight are just lost through not turning, but we do have a straight, and I'm putting my foot down, and we're not going to quite make it. We were catching up so much, but just, this just, it has a lot of power, it just can't really get it down very well, and you get to a corner, and the car doesn't really think there's a corner there, the car just kind of keeps going straight, which isn't great, I'm gonna be honest. Here we are, at the drag strip, and this is, it's quite a short drag strip, so the question is, can we get the power down quick enough, pull back on the lead cars, and, ah, no, we don't go in a straight line. I mean, yeah, I, I say we're doing quite well. <laughs> we just completely destroyed everyone. We were so far ahead. Everyone else gets 19s, 20s and 21s, so I'm in the 18s. Now that's that's how you drag race. Turns out this thing isn't entirely useless. Although it is mostly useless. So, this car... Faster in a straight line, doesn't turn, struggles to get its power down, and overall gets a nice minus six points. Yeah, that's 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 kind of kind of bad. You know, that's negative. Because we got twelfth, then we got eleventh, then we got first, but that didn't make up for the fact that we did terribly. Like we almost we we did 
only very slightly worse on dirt than on tarmac. I think next time I do a power car, I might have to like do something about the tires because it's it's not it's not great having terrible tires. Big tires was not enough to fix it, and I can't even do donuts properly. Fifteen hundred horsepower is a little too much for standard tires on a boat. Well, it's a barge. It's like a ship. Like you could put containers on it and shove it on the sea and people wouldn't tell the difference between this and the container ship blending on the shipping lane. Thank you for watching, don't get distracted, go subscribe now, and until next time, goodbye.